Yo, what is up? This is Aerogotic here with another update for my account. Now, it might seem like I fell off the side of the earth because I pretty much have. Uh, we're still playing very casually. The thing is, my motivation for this game as I progressed has kind of dwindled. The problem is because you start off the game, you got all this like new stuff, you got it coming and it, there's a lot right and they also had like a major event i think two of them when i first started we had like the christmas uh new year's and like the we had one other i can't even remember off the top of my head but like that's all like i haven't seen any other major updates the events that we do get are like a rotating energy cost like a arena of glory event like who cares really like it's not exciting right and, you know, maybe if they had multiple events that you can work on at the same time, that'd be more exciting. I kind of want a summoning event. We got one so far. Maybe there was another one that I missed at some point. But I only know of one, and it, it makes me not want to summon as free-to-play, right? As you can see, we still got the first charge reward. I, we're making sure that we do the guild bosses twice a day, like you should. Uh, alter, you know, I'm kind of trying to figure out what I banish, what I don't. It, it, I'm such a hoarder. I, I am such a hoarder. But otherwise, like, the real updates for the account would be we're working on glyphs, right? We've gotten Orac to one star. He's glyphed out. Marianne, she's glyphed out now. Uh, God Fairy, he's, you know, he, he's got a little bit of work to do. Let's be real, but... You know, we can do that slowly. Otherwise, we got Lightwing Zachary. I don't know how I feel about him. Like, he seems like he might be good, but at the same time, like, I did hear that, like, light and dark are kind of more for the arena. And at the moment, I don't have, like, a huge use for light. I want, like, to build out characters that are strong against others, not neutral. From daily summons, though, we've gotten two Bordens, which is like, you know, that's all right. The thing is, like, I'm probably going to build out this Borden. However, I hate the design of him. Like, not his skills. His skills are fine, but the way he looks. I love pirate theme. I don't know what it is about him exactly, but he just doesn't do it for me. He really, he really doesn't, you know? I kind of want to build out Silen at some point, but she's kind of a low priority. Another character that I definitely will be building out is Scarlet. I love her design. So like having Borden Scarlet, that makes my fire side, you know, that's pretty good. I would say, you know. Uh, otherwise, let me think here. Arena, we're hitting every day. We've, you know, you buy out this stuff and not very exciting stuff. See, this is the problem, right? Like, I have been, I just build up my resources. Like, I haven't really been, I'm lazy. I haven't really been pushing for, uh, okay, Void Tower we have, that's good. But we haven't been doing Endless Trial too much. Like, I get maybe two floors done. Uh, sometimes I push for the third, but generally speaking, like, it's not exciting content. There's not something new there, right? And that that's really depressing, man. I I love this game. It's a great game, but compared to other mobile games, there's just not enough, right? And most mobile games have just events that are cycling, but they usually add more content with that. We're really not getting that extra content that I'm used to in other games to hold my motivation to keep going, so to speak, right? Now, that could change. I'm sure it is going to change because you start seeing... I'm starting to see ads all over the place for the game. And that means they have to be doing some... They have to be doing all right with the profits, right? So they're doing something, right? But otherwise, like, we're just going to keep grinding magic passes. We're going to keep doing the events as they come. It's, it's not exciting to really... Like, as I said, it's not exciting to just make an update on the account when there's nothing new going on. I just get my dailies done, I make sure I do my weeklies, and, the, you know, that's about it. Now, this is a really small update, only because I wanted to explain kind of why these videos are so spread apart at this point. And I didn't really pick up before, like, why I kept on taking, like, a couple weeks to upload something and why this one took so long. And it's just because... 
you know, I haven't, there's not really stuff to update on. But I do want to do a couple summons. And by a couple, I mean probably like 30, right? Because I just, I want something new. Anything. And so, he, here we go. I mean, the most important and fun part of the game is gambling, right? That's what we're all here for. Alright, we can't skip it. So we at least got an epic, right? Hopefully a legendary. Let's see. Okay, William. Actually, William's new. William is new for my account, and I've heard good things about him. Yo, we might already be having something new. That I'm gonna work on. Yeah, that's awesome. Yo, William. Let's go with another 10 times. Can't skip it again. So we got at least an elite. Let's hope for a legendary. Nathalia. Okay, you know what? I'll honestly take it. I'll take it. She's great. She's amazing on anybody's account. Vance. We've already got a Vance, so that's an ascension for him. Which I can't complain about two epics in one pull. That you can't complain about that. Or you know elites. What you know whatever. Celestial Kane. Okay, we actually have Celestial Kane. You know it's he's all right. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I left him at fifty, but he's still something to that eventually I am going to get up so it's good to have the ascension and uh, we're going to do this and then three singles to bring us to 50 summons okay not the most exciting let's do three more okay I can't skip this it's something what do we got Oh, yo, yo, let's go, it's Gangalo. This is actually one of my most sought after characters. I love his design. I love, I'm, I've heard he's really good. I, I don't know if he got nerfed or not, but I've heard good things about him. But the thing is just how he looks. He looks absolutely sick. He kind of, he kind of gives me a World of Warcraft Legion vibe. Um, maybe I'm wrong, you know, but it, something about him just kind of hits me like that. Uh, we're, we're still going to get you two more summons, but dude, I'm already happy about updating the account with some summons, my dude. This character, next time I update, is going to easily be rank six and fully glyphed out. He, he's probably going to get some of my best gear. All right, let's do two more just so that we can wrap up the summons to 50 and... You know, probably I'll be at 70 next time. Magnar. I don't know. This is also a new character. I don't know what he does. I'll be honest with you. And Vidar. Let me look at what Magdar does. And also Gangelo, Gangelo, whatever. You can correct me if you if you know how he's said and I don't, you know? Um, okay. Gangelo. His passive all enemies take 50 percent more damage from poison ascension all enemies take 100 percent more damage we really want to get his ascension and it's only ascension two that we need so you know maybe we can get there uh deals 60 percent damage to one enemy and applies poison poison is so good so good 80 percent once is fully up there removes all positive effects and deals 100 damage then heals this character based on the number of poison on the target I don't know how good it's going to work, but we already have one character that has poison. Well, two, right? We've got, um, you know, a tree guy and we've got, you know, water tentacles. I can't remember the names off the top of my head. We'll check it after so I can correct myself. Uh, his ultimate, though, he deals 100% damage to all enemies and applies poison for two turns. If the enemy is affected by poison, it applies no positive effects. So this is actually really good. This is going to go pair really well with AoE poison, following it up with this. That is absolutely awesome. I'm, I'm actually pretty hyped. I, I said there's not new content, but I mean, the new content is new characters that you can build out and have fun with, right? So, you know, it, there we go. 
we got something magnar i don't know what he does we're gonna quickly check when using this ability uh, there's a 30 percent chance to use it twice when health is below 50 percent the chances increases to 70. when using this ability i assume the way it's written his attacks have a chance to use them twice and when it's below 50 percent it's 70 percent unless it's only one ability um i i don't know it should say using his abilities i don't know if that's like a grammar written error but you know it is what it is uh deals 180 percent damage to an enemy what's his scaling he's an a in attack a in crit rate that's not too bad um but he applies stun as well on a four turn cooldown that's pretty solid I can't complain with that. Shield with strength based on this character's attack. Okay, so we're already going to be building attacks. So that's great that his shield is based off it. On the under 50% health or a bonus turn if this character has a shield. Uh, cool down two rounds. Wait, this is a passive. Okay. So, oh. Alright. So him getting below 50% kind of works well. I thought it was kind of weird with his trait with the you know when health is below 50 percent like how often is that going to be but with the shield as well that kind of gives him a little bit more sustain so that's a little bit less intimidating his regular attack is 30 percent, so his defense down the weak version which you know isn't the greatest but this kind of can work right Maybe with like Barden and whatnot like this guy could go into a team comp with him and the others and then we can skip out on taking the spell that gives defense down for two turns. You know, like, it could work. Uh, and also, let me just check really quick. I'm talking about Santis and... What's his name? Oh, geez. He's an elite. Oh, geez. Uh, Santis, Valak, and Gangelo. I don't... Gangelo, whatever. The thing is, though, if we're going in with Grass... That's Valak and Gangela. We're probably going against water, so Santis would be neutral, but at the same time, we're only going to be using her for poison. And that could work. It could work. Uh, the problem will come to when we want to be neutral with grass against grass. Then we're going to be at a disadvantage with Santis, so we're going to be missing out on the AoE poison. I mean, maybe we can still make it work, but you don't really want to bring water against grass. You know, you don't want to do that. Anyways, so base, next time I update, which is not going to probably take too long, uh, I want to get Gangello completely glyphed out. I want to get his abilities up and get gear on him. I want to be able to showcase him a little bit, you know, get a team comp on and we can try Queen of Tides as well. He's going to be power he's gonna be powerful affinity oh my gosh wait i didn't even think about that my queen of tides team is probably gonna increase like crazy all right that's gonna be awesome because farming right now it takes so long it takes so okay all right i'm gonna go work on that character and then next time you know you're gonna see me pop off i'm gonna i'm gonna totally pop off my boy all right, thank you for you know checking me out thanks for the up you know hanging out with me for this long uh i'll see you next time have a great day guys take care